Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess, also known as the Fat Funny One. I have loads of kids. I say loads, there's four. Um, so there will always be a dog barking or a child in the background of any video. Just a warning. Um, today is Sunday, it is reset Sunday in this house and I need a big reset. Um, so I'm going to film a get it all done with me kind of video. I've got loads to do. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm covered in paint because I'm also um, decorating my girls' bedrooms because we are having their carpet fitted, new carpet fitted on Thursday, so that needs doing. Um, so I'm prepping a bit more of that, but my main priority this morning particularly is to get all the cleaning done, the reset for the week, uniform uh, ironed, the house clean. We went, to, we went to a family party last night, so yesterday was just busy. So yeah, that is my focus for today. So I'm gonna tackle this pile of laundry here, uh, get that all organized. But before I do anything, the first thing I do is gonna write a list of everything that needs doing, highlight the bits that are really key to be completed today, and then anything extra is a bonus. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, and try and do that in between all of the mummy requests. Uh, so yeah, join us, I hope you enjoy, and this gives you motivation to crack on and have a productive day and get it all done too. So here goes. I can't help but laugh at my face when I'm writing a list, so serious. So first things first, I've written my list, I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to tackle the bedroom with the help, sort of help, with Isabella. I am making the bed. I keep looking up, but it's because I am watching TV. I've been obsessed with the Chicago series. So like Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, Chicago PD. Obsessed. If you watch them all, please let me know which is your favourite in the comments. Mine is Chicago Fire. I'm literally obsessed. Anyway, I'm watching that while I change bed sheets. I get pretty frustrated at some points because I hate changing the bed sheets and also that little bit at the end of the bed where I've not pulled the fitted sheet down is really annoying me watching this back but it is what it is so bed change and then I'm going to move on to doing some other bits once I've blitzed our bedroom us how we stay so organized and honestly it is this board is like the central hub of our family it sits in the kitchen everyone's got boxes got all the days of the week i know what everyone's doing when they're doing it and if you've got a question about what we're eating that day or where you need to be it is going to be on the board so i've finished all of that the next thing i'm doing is something called a laundry train just hear me out so i organize all of the laundry we're splitting it obviously into colors light dark uh, whites etc um, and we've got all of that once that's all sorted we literally set up i'm laughing because it's so silly but it's so productive and functional I set up a train of baskets at the top of the stairs and then travel will grab a basket take it down wash it and then swap it with a clean one and then take a dirty one swap with a clean one and then i'll fold and put them all away it totally works for us so that is the laundry train all sorted next thing i'm going to do is do some admin kind of home admin so i am sorting out our budgets here just making sure that i've kept up with our spending for the week putting everything in our cash envelopes etc and just updating that and then answering some emails sophia is obviously coming and asking me a question here once i've done with all that i go back into cleaning mode and i'm now tackling the boys bedroom there's just always stuff in here it is actually my favorite room to clean which i know sounds really strange apart from putting all of the balls back in the ball pit uh, but yeah i'm gonna tackle this room now
the time of recording this voiceover, the room is completely different. And so, as you know, we're decorating the girls' rooms, but this video is probably about two weeks old, and that's because we had COVID. So we were in isolation pretty much two days after this video was recorded, which means that I have now had the girls' rooms done, but didn't have time to edit and do all of that good stuff. So that bed actually isn't even in here anymore, but at the time it was, and obviously this is me getting everything done. So all four children, well, actually all three children, because the baby was in with us, but they were sharing a room, this room, while the girls' rooms were getting decorated, and now the girls have moved out. So there's less furniture in this room now. So actually I'm gonna record another video because some ideas on how to lay this room out would be really, really helpful. Um, but either way, no matter the layout, the balls always end up everywhere, and it's always a mess. So I'm gonna just keep on keeping on. kind of got most of the cleaning out of the way I set Sophia up to do her homework her face cracks me up while I crack on with a uniform biggest tip though I've got two weeks worth of uniforms like 10 shirts and it is a lifesaver because it means that I don't have to faff about uniform like at least for at least a couple of weeks the only thing that's stressful is the pleated skirts like how frustrating so many of you on Instagram said to get a steam cleaner like a steam ironer anyway that's that after this i was supposed to finish up sophia's room and do the first coat of paint but i really could not be bothered so it was off to bed for me but thank you so much for watching i hope this has made you want to get up and go don't forget to like and subscribe a few more of these videos coming soon and speak to you soon bye